It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, with David Aldridge roaming the sideline. DA, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey is able to play either guard spot. He says it's just basketball IQ and feel of the game. I pride myself on being a basketball player and being able to do both. I know when James is not in the game, I'll have the ball in my hands and have to create for myself and for others. Kevin? Nice to have that versatility, isn't it, David? Thank you. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Smith is out there with Chris, and it's Gordon in at the three spot. And for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede are manning the post positions. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey, and it's Thibel in at the three spot. Richard, if there's one thing the Rockets want to emphasize this year, it's defense. Yeah, no question. They've been one of the worst defensive teams in the league. The past few seasons, to turn your fortunes around, you've got to focus on defense. It's the most important thing. Outside, Maxi. Harris outside. Smith with the defensive effort. On offense, here are the Rockets. It's time they met in Houston. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. And a lot of that begins with effort. Holding in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. There's Embiid. That shot is off. And the Rockets take it the other way. Passes to Gordon. Now the pass to Chris. Can't connect from short range. And the 76ers with possession. They're coming off that win against the Nets. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, despite the challenges of being away from home, they were able to execute cleanly and look really fresh out there. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Green. That's good from Chris on the assist by Green. And this is where Chris does a considerable amount of damage. Feels comfortable taking those interior shots. Has to Embiid. There's the pick. Up and in on the way up. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now, here's Porter. Hoping to put that miserable performance against Miami behind him tonight. Chris kicks to Porter. Over Harden. Misses off the right eye. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what. Because the defense can't really take credit for that miss. Eibel with the ball. He's against Gordon. Got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Touched by Porter. Looking now at some numbers for Jayshon Tate. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And Bede sets the pick for Harden. Just four to shoot. Over Chris. That one wide left. It's trailed by three. Inside. Here's Smith. The kick out to Porter. There's a screen by Chris. Porter passes to Chris. Good and a nice assist from Porter. And such focus on these difficult finishes. Chris showing tremendous will fighting for the defense. And Harden now, top of the key. And he gets it to go. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. Outside, Porter. Pass to Smith. Houston moving it around. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Feibel. 
Here's Harris. It's rebounded by Houston. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. A bad outing offensively. You break that game down, their issues were pretty clear. Won't win games in this league with an offensive night like that. They've got some things to figure out. And it's Smith missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he gets that open. Harden to pass to Harris. Fires the three. No good, shot missing. And the Rockets sink it the other way. Smith in the post, guarded by Harris. Another miss by Houston. The 76ers leading by three. Embiid with a screen on court. Harden gets to Embiid. Drills it from outside. Embiid's got five now. And there has great been some talk within the league about adding a mid-season tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for, but love now, I can see why they're considering Eric Gordon was huge in those classic Rockets Warriors playoff games, wasn't it? It's almost forgotten, but Gordon was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Smash Brothers, scoring 19 and 20 points per game in that 18 and 19 postseason battles. Eric's a big game player. The first one drops. And Gordon drops them both. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Here is Porter. James Harden picking up that last basket. Pass to Chris. Outside Gordon. Smith with it. Over Harris. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. Out to Harris. Quarter against Harden. Shot clock at six. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. Pulls up on the wing. Maxi, no good. Gets trailed by six. Stolen by Harden. And now Maxi pushing it up, and no one back there to stop him. Got into the passing lane that time. Harden creating possessions. And for Houston, they're shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful, 22%. Porter passes to Green. Smith left side. And then Smith with the dunk. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? A pass to Fiber. And he says, right back at you with a big tip of his own. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets.
Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Clock and Purtles check in for Joel Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's John Wall in for James Harden. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shen Goon's checked in for Marquise Chris. Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Smith. Tate, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. And it's Josh Christopher in for Jalen Green. Here's Christopher. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Can't hit from in close. And you've got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. So the wing on the left. Left side, Wall. He dishes it to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Here's Christopher. Outside, Porter. Martin with a screen on Wall. And they get it, and finished off by Martin. Good play and great vision from Porter. The pick and roll gets someone open, and he finds it. Wall passes to Maxi. Tucker is screen. Maxi against Porter. Great tee that time from Martin. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. 11 point game. Here's Christopher. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Milton kicks the wall. Buster Tucker takes the three. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. And the 76ers lead by 14. Christopher, the pass to Porter. Off target from three-point range. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. This is the Tucker. Hurdle with a screen on Martin. Six to shoot. On the wing, Milton. From outside the arc. And the rebound goes to Martin. Pass to Christopher. Outside, Porter. Lets it go with a three. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Outside, Maxi. No good from the low block. It's trailed by 11. Here's Christopher. He kicks it to Porter. To the inside. Martin, the pass to Christopher. And Purple sends it back. And you got to get appreciation for how Purple punishes shooters. A dynamite shot blocker with impeccable time. Wall finds Maxi. Now Purple. From 15 feet away, and good, coming off the assist by Wall. Wall's got three assists tonight. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Here's Christopher. And Pirtle pulls it down. All with it, now guarded by Porter. With the second effort, and it's finished off inside by Pirtle. pirtle has got his third basket of the night. And Pirtle has a stick-with-it mentality on the offensive class, just throwing himself against the board. Outside, Maxi, and it's Wall in the corner. 54 seconds left to play in the first quarter. To Maxi. Fires the three. Does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one mate. Passes it to Christopher. Back 
Martin Porter. Martin with the screen for Porter. There's the dish to Martin. Overmatching. Another miss by Houston. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Wall looking it over. Nice D from Porter. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And more than anything, their three-point shooting is what sparked a, a fantastic night from long range so far. Back to the action in just a minute. quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the 76ers Rockets trail by 15 and about the 76ers Richard they've been impressive yeah they've been on a 50 win pace for about the last five seasons and with Joel Embiid every single year you are going to be a contender this is their window and they are bringing in the talent to get it done taking a look at the Rockets the post pairing form Smith along with Shingu David Nwaba out there with Jalen Green and it's Tate in at the small forward position here's Fibel the Rockets making the shot out to Harris down to five on the shot clock fires from 18 Bible can't get it to go and it's Smith with the ball he brings it up for Houston trailing by 13 and that game will be game three of five away from home always going up for the alley-oop here Embiid against Tate Houston needs to get a shot Shingun Target from outside. The 76ers leading by 13. Fiber finds Harden. And the jam by Harden. And once he got up in the air, he just decided, you know what, I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm going to hit you with a little float. Float on. And oh. he finally takes it down for the finish. You mentioned the floaters on this. Absolutely. Good, good reference. Good reference. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Chris, he's checked in for Alperin Shengu. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. And here now is Thibel. He has five. Harden up top. That one, no good. And it's Houston the other way. Green kicks to Nwaba. about two minutes into the second quarter. Green in the post, guarded by Hart. Five to shoot. Green passes to Chris. Here's Mwaba. Hope loose. Philadelphia leading by 15. The pass to Fiber. Now here's MB. By Chris, and the shot goes in from MB. The footwork, the patience, watching MB go to work inside is just a treat. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Outside, Green. Smith sets the pick for Green. Out to Chris. Smith outside. The offensive rebound. Chris gets the bucket. Chris has got six. 
And how about the timing on the backboards there from Chris? Has the size and quickness to be a problem. Harden, no good. Yeah, and he had the D tangled up there with that patented crossover. Just couldn't convert the finish. Here's Smith, and the dunk by Smith. And guys, we're going to see a lot of that from this young man. Smith right now, beasting. Freibold, the pass to Harden. Misses the three. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, thank you very much. The Rockets are in a full rebuild, and they have a young roster which is taking its lumps. But Coach Steven Silas says we very rarely give up. This team has a lot of fight, character, and grit, and we are learning. Kevin, it's a long process, but it's worth doing. Yep, no shortcuts, David, but the journey is the reward. They're building from the ground up. It's uh, fun to watch, and we thank you for that story. Now, here's Green following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Now, here's Green. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Not as good in the 76ers lead has cut to just 11 points in the basket from Smith. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And B finds Heibel. It's rebounded by Houston. And guys, how about the job Jalen Green has done? Living up to that second overall pick. He sure is. Had a great rookie year last year, and he is looking to build on that success. Had a tremendous year in all facets of the game. Chris gets the bucket. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Holding with it. He's coming off a 31-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. And he didn't just create often for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. Here's Houston now. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Now, Nwaba. Pass to Green. Here's Chris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Well, let me say this. I think it was the greatest championship ever. And I'm not being biased. Those are the facts. They were the defending champion. They had the two-time MVP. They won 73 wins that year. So for me, that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time. I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back, correct? Uh, that's a lie. Uh, there was tons of <laughs> doubt in my mind, but I will say this. When you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. John Walls checked in for P.J. Tucker. That one misses. Boy, this hurts to have to bring up, but I was there for the Rockets' title winning days back in 94. I was with the Knicks. I saw Houston in the finals first game. Harden, no good. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Now, here's Nawaba, guarded by Harden. Here's Green. Another shot. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got his seventh rebound here tonight. Hands to Harris. To the middle. The end the drought. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Tobias Harris. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. The it's trail by ten. Back-to-back -back titles for the Rockets in the mid-90s. You were just talking about that. Greg, what sticks out to you about those teams? First and foremost, the dream. A game of He doesn't get his dream at times, but the dream is one of the all-time greats. Olajuwon's defense really changed the game. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Not a strong suit for this group. Just around 71%.
The first one falls. And with that lightning first step of Jalen Green, very few defenders have a chance of keeping him in front. And some changes here for the 76ers. Jakob Pertles check in for Joel Embiid. Shake Milton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Max, he subbed in for James Harden. And then for Houston, Kenyon Martin Jr. comes in for Chris. And it's Josh Christopher in for David Mwaba. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And Greg, one thing about that winding speed of green, he's got to make his reads faster as well. I think the game is slowing down for him, though, Kevin. And that and speeding up his shot release will make him even tougher to deal with. Second shot opportunity. Harris's shot is off. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold stream. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Now here's Gordon following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Green kicks to Tate. And the three off target. Philadelphia leading by nine. Here's Milton. And the rebound goes to Martin. Here's Houston now. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. Christopher, the pass to Green. Nice D from Wall. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep on the side. Outside Maxi. Steps back and fires. Wall's shot is off. Gets trailed by nine. Outside, green. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one fails. Love that aggression from green. Banging down low. GA, the Houston Rockets, coming off back-to-back -back losing seasons. And that has been tough for that franchise and for the city. And Kevin, no doubt it affects the team's morale. It's hard to find the positive and see the road ahead. But listen, you've got to stay strong and focus on just getting better every day. And the first one at the line is good. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next. As a player, how do you adjust to that? Yeah, it's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. And both free throws good for Green. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. To the paint. Here's Maxi. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of the Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Kevin Porter's checked in for Green. Now that James Harden has left Houston, can we appreciate the eight years he just had with the Rockets? He was an all-star every season in Clutch City. Timeout called the Rockets.
2K leaderboard, a list of the teams that have rebounded the ball tremendously over the last 10 games. The 76ers third. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. Here's Gordon. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 12-4 run right now. He feeds it to Martin. Over Milton. Here's Gordon. Nice touch on the bank shot. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Passes it to Milton. Side, Maxi. Here's Wall. A shot missing. Nice D from Porter. Even with the big goose egg by his name on the shot chart, the team is somehow managing just fine without him. Outside Gordon. Gordon with a screen on Maxi. Shot clock at five. And the baseline jumper, no good. And it's Harris with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Ball passes to Harris. Over with this screen on Martin. And the pass to Perry. Second chance effort, and the layup is up and in. Pirtle's got eight. There's no stopping Pirtle when he has the ball in that spot, just abusing the defense down in the paint. Christopher, the pass to Porter. There's a good screen. Here's Shengun. And Pirtle sends it back. Porter finds Gordon. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. Now here is Harris. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the six, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. That's good from Harris. Season after season, it seems like Tobias Harris only proves himself more invaluable. He's one of those glue guys. Stick him into almost any lineup and he can contribute. Points, rebounds, assist, whatever you need. And that's what makes him a precious commodity. And Harris drops them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Here's Christopher. He's covered by Max. Offensive rebound. Not as good in the 76ers lead. He's cut down now to just six points with that basket from Christopher. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Porter kicks to Gordon. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Gordon's got 10. The 76ers leading by three. Outside, wall. Forty-three seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. Eleven jump ball. Fertile, the pass to Milton. Four on the shot clock. Shoots the three. Maxi, no good. 
Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolutely terrible shooting display. About seven seconds of putting the shot in game blocks. Outside Gordon. Outside Porter. It's deflected. Oh, here who finds Porter. Can't tie it up because that one's no good. Outside Wolf. Over Porter. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers ahead, up by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I have someone behind me. If I made a mistake that was going to protect the win, I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Welcome to halftime. First up, let's check out what games are tipping off tonight. Going off in a different direction, back in your playing days, what was your go-to celebratory meal after a monster win? Only one right answer to that question, Ernie. Kenny, you tell him. Barbecue chicken. Yes, sir. And we now take a look at the Houston Rockets and the close first half they played. Something that's really helping them is the second chance points. Not settling for one and done. These guys want it and they're getting it. Have to love the effort they've shown tonight. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We've seen Eric Gordon really having a great game. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Front court is Fibo and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, and it's NB in at the five down low. That's the five to begin the second half for Dr. Now Harden after Eric Gordon's three-pointer that didn't go. And here's MB. Out to Harris. On the arc. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got six rebounds here tonight. Porter passes to Green. Back to Porter. Down low. It's stolen by Harris. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. Now, Jalen Green is on a mission. He says, every time I step on the floor, I always have something to prove to who's ever in those stands. A lot of people will hate on me or have their opinions. I'm just going to think about that when I step on the floor. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Kevin? That's a great chip to keep on his shoulder. David, thanks. Pass to Maxi. Now here's Harden, takes a three. There's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat on the offensive glass. Harden against Porter. Pass to Green. To the inside. Here's Smith. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. <laughs> Green's got six assists here tonight. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here is Harris. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. 
And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Harden outside. Looking to get it going. And be capable of playing either guard position. Harden said for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Porter looking it over. Outside green. There's a screen by Chris. A floater stolen by Harden. This is a Damaxi. Back to Harden. Goes up from the top of the key. Here's Embiid. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Connects from three-point range. Harris has got five now. And that has earned Harris a ton of money. The ability to spot up, shoot, and knock it down. And Porter, here we go. Smith gets the bid for Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing. He understands that teams are going to bring two, sometimes three. You have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens. Embiid, he embraces that challenge. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. Very good from here. Green over 80% from the line. DJ Tucker, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And both free throws good for Green. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Harden the pass to Fiber. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Six on the shot clock. Back to Harden. Another three for Philadelphia. And this is what the offense is designed to produce. Slipping Harden into the corner for a three. That's right. Quarter passes to Smith. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one on MB. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throws have been dropping for him at a rate of about 77% on the season. And the Rockets making a change here. Robbins checked in. What's up? And Jabari Smith, of course, with deep family ties, Greg, to the NBA. His dad being the OG Jabari. All these guys are in that 6'10", 6'11 range. So great blood. Harden dishes to Tucker. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia. On Wednesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Thursday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And for the matchup with the Celtics, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. No good on the free throw. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> maybe. Good on the second free throw. And so here is Houston. Seven point differential. Now here's Nawaba. He's covered by Maxi. Porter passes to Smith. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. 
Harden against Porter. From 13, the 76ers again can't hit it. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. And there's the pass to Chris. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here is Porter. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Puts it up from 12. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Fiber. Pass to Maxi. Just five on the clock. For the three. It's rebounded by Houston. Chris has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the 76ers. And he makes the first. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Houston making a switch. Shengun's checked in. Smith hits them both. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Now, here's Maxi. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Over Nwaba, that one off the back iron and out. Gotta find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not gonna get it. Outside, Porter. Smith with a screen on Hart. Harden against Porter. Shoots from 12. They get the rebound. Out to the wing. Shangun finds Tate. There's the screen. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. And let's go real fast to the rookie leaderboard. These are the rookies shooting the highest percentage from the floor this season. Fourth, Jabari Smith. He's scoring and finishing at a very high level. I mean, playing within himself offensively and being very discerning with his shot selection. Now, here is Harden. 12 points for him. Now, here's MB. Guarded close, trying to get something going, and the layup is good. MB got six in the quarter. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Here's Porter. The rejection by MB. The timing on the rejection. Embiid's feel for when to go after blocks is ridiculous. Now a timeout called by Houston.
Some changes for Philadelphia. Pirtle is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Jake Milton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And John Walls subbed in for Maxie. The Rockets also changing it up. Martin's checked in for Smith. And it's Josh Christopher in for Kevin Porter. Now, here's Nawaba, guarded by Harden. Nawaba kicks to Tate. Clock at four. Beyond the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Tate's only got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The D just sagged off just enough, and no hesitation on his part. Embiid, the pass to Milton. And here's Embiid, covered by Mark. Kicks it out to Harden. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Harden's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the 76ers. Here's Christopher. He's got five. A special move before the shot. Christopher's got seven points. And how about the move he made there to come up and get himself clear in the lane for the deuce? Outside wall. And he banks in the lane. And the 76ers lead by five. And I just love the way Wall kind of nice through that defense. He is masterful at slashing to the rim. Now here is Mark. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Shangoon kicks to Tate. Martin the pass to Christopher. For three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And beats got rebound number 12, who already in the game. To the middle. Now here's Wall. He's guarded closely. Embiid with it. 15 points in the game. Harden, no good. Now here's Nawaba, covered by Wall. Now Nwaba. Martin with a screen on Harden. It's three corners off the mark. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they're trailing in this ball game. Here's Milton. Takes it off the glass. Oh, it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Passes it to Shingu. And Purtle sends it back. Outside wall. Here's the pass to Purtle. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Pass to Milton. From downtown. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got four assists in the game. And you look at Jakob Purtle. Great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with a move that just powers way to the hoop. Will it go? And Purtle sends it back. and left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Milton. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Houston the other way now. And Greg Pirtle has so many options to score inside. And that's why he's such an efficient scorer, Kevin. Very composed at the rim. Doesn't need a lot of time to get his shot off inside. Now here's Harden. He's got 15. Indeed, finds Wall. to Harden. 
From deep. It's rebounded by Houston. And here's Martin. Passes it to Christopher. The pass to Shingu. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Yaka Purdy. Shingun is a guy that works ultra hard at his craft. Being a bit undersized at the center position, you know what? That's what you got to do sometimes. Shoot two. That free throw missing. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the 76ers. Harris comes in for Shake Milton. And then for Houston, Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Jayshon Tate. And it's Green in for David Mwaba. He's good on the second. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Outside wall. Here's Harden. They get a pet. Hurdle. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Martin wide open. He fires. Oh, good with the triple. Philadelphia leading by 11. Martin outside. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And he sinks the layup. Harden's got eight here in the quarter. Just an absolute ferocious score. When Harden gets a chance to score from the interior, he doesn't think twice about shooting. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 76ers lead by 13. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. There wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this team to become competitive. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the pivot of his 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. Gordon is out there with Smith. And it's Chris in at the five spot. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Porter finds Green. Smith with a screen on Maxi. That's good. The Philadelphia lead has got down to 11 on the bucket from Smith. So many ways Smith can hurt you. Really showing us all what he's capable of. All passes to Harris. At the wall. A three-pointer off the mark. It's trailed by 11. Outside, Porter. Outside, Green. Inside. Here's Chris. Rejected by Harris. Look at Harris getting it down on the defensive end. It's a good sign for this team. Maxi passes to Harris. Back to Maxi. Outside, Wall. Four on the clock. No good on the three. The Rockets shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. Matisse That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul.
just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Count is good to the 76ers. Lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Porter. Oh, how about the vision from Smith? You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. Tucker dishes to him. Tries it from the top of the key. It's hauled in by Gordon. Rockets have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Green deciding where to go with it. It's good. It is impressive how Green can sink shots after contact. Great body control for a player his size. And Philadelphia calls time here. Trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. in for Philadelphia. I now I'll send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Hey Kevin, during the last break I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much David. Fourth quarter of play, we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Eibel on the wing, defended by Gordon. Lock at six. And Wall kicks to Maxi. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this rut, but maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. Now, here's Porter. Right side, Green. Smith gets the pick for Green. From outside, off the mark. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Ball finds and beat. Now, here's Thibault. Outside, Wolf. Over Green. The 76ers with another miss. And it's Porter with the ball for the Houston Rockets. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now, here's Green. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on John Wall. You can tell Green is fearless on the floor, going right into the defender with his shot. At the line for two. He misses the free throw. Wow. 
so neither attempt will fall that time for him. Normally, he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous growth. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Here is Porter. Following the basket by Tyrese Maxey. Porter passes to Green. From 20 feet out, and right through it goes. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Wall. Harris outside. Feeds it to Embiid. Yes, it is good. The assist from Harris. Now that's 17 points for Joel Embiid. It's trailed by nine. Outside, Porter kicks it to Green. Smith with a screen on Maxi. Green dishes to Smith. Able on the wing, defended by Gordon. Back to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Smith finds Porter. Smith with a screen on Harris. And then Smith with the dunk. And Smith is just so impressive, especially when he's working in that screen and roll. Maxie against Green. Puts it up from 12. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's his third foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Harden's checked in. Gordon kicks to Chris. Smith on the wing. Outside Gordon. Shot clock at six. There's a screen by Chris. No good from outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Maxie passes to Harden. And Bede sets the pick for Harden. The 76ers again can't hit it. I can trail by seven. Here is Porter. Outside, Green. No oh, good on the triple. The 76ers shooting has been way good so far. Only 37% from the floor. Pass to Maxi. And the dunk by MB. The team just loves to see MB fired up on the like this. They really rely on this scoring the goal. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Porter kicks to Green. Smith with a screen on Maxi. And it's Smith missing. The 76ers leading by nine. Passes to Maxi. Martin outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, James Harden is still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? Free throw good from Harden. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? Well, you know, probably a little of both. But we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully he can as well. Tate, he's checked in for Smith. 
And both free throws good for James Harden. The southpaw, hard, lucky lefty. He's a tremendous offensive player who can pretty much get triple doubles in bunches. Now, here's Green. Over Maxi. And it's Green. Mission. Looking it over. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Now a timeout called by Houston. Here's Green. And he drives in. It's stolen. And here's the pass break. Maxi leading the way. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Now, here's Porter. To the paint. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Harden against Porter. Now the pass to Fiber. Outside, Maxi. Six to shoot. Here's Harris. Embiid, the pass to Harris. Count that bucket. And that's now seven points for Tobias Harris. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Green. Another miss by Houston. Oh, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way in a major drought you need to find some sort of momentum and guys the offensive rebounding really has stood out here this half all those second chance points are helping them maintain that lead now a timeout called by houston
And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That'll be his second foul of the game. Pitcher 2004 was the last time that the NBA expanded. Now, some say Seattle and maybe Las Vegas could before long have teams of their own. What do you think? Oh, please give me Seattle back. Please give me Vegas back. Do you know what I would give to have those two cities back in our league and I have to travel to them? Look, but you must have deep pockets. Let's be honest with yourself. The franchises now are selling for over three billion dollars. You got to think that the expansion fee will at least be that much per team. Quarter against Harden. Here's the three. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeded. Pass to Green. Back to Gordon. Fires from deep. Good as Green picking up the assist. A sometimes underrated playmaker. Green showing good patience and vision. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. And Harden now, top of the key. And no good. And it's Houston the other way. Down low, it's stolen by Harris. Outside, Maxi. Harden up top. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you? Or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind. But when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. And this is what they want, I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the 76ers. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. And this will make it. He won victories for them on the year. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Joel Embiid. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. He would always body up, and it's why he ended with so many goals. Just five to shoot, and it's Harden shooting it down. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. And it's the Rockets with the ball after the Sixers pick up two. And MP with the block. Maxi with it. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. And I love playing against basketball. I love you know, being crafty. And I'm just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, and congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.